Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is power delay product and latch of effects. First, we will discuss the concept of rise and fall times. Now, this diagram shows the explanation related to the rise and fall time. There is one term, there is one concept which is called a propagation delay. In a very simplified language, delay is the time taken by the signal when they are transmitting, when they are passing through the particular device. So, it is the delay taken by the signal while passing through the gate, let us say transmission gate. Or in another language, it is defined as the time taken by the gate to response or to give response to change in the input signal. It is measured between 50% of the transition points of input and output waveforms. Means what? This is the input waveform. It is graph of V in input voltage versus time. When we are talking about a CMOS logic, you are getting inverted output. So output waveform that is V out versus T is as shown in this figure. It is inverted version of the input waveform. But there is certain delay. This output waveform is shifted version, delayed version and inverted compared to the input waveform. Now, as far as this input waveform is concerned, which is graph of V in input voltage versus time, this is 50% time when the signal is rising from zero to some value, some fixed value. Whereas again, it remains stable, constant in this portion. Again, it drops down to zero. This is again 50% point. So these two are 50% points related to the input waveform. Same concept, this is the output waveform, graph of V out versus time. In this case also, initially output is constant. After that, it falls down, it becomes zero. So this is 50% point. Similarly, from this point again, it starts rising whenever input is falling and you are getting 50% point over here. <clears throat> now, there are two terms related to the propagation delay. Basically, propagation delay is denoted by notation TP. So, there are two terms. One is TPHL. It is TP, that is propagation time, propagation delay time, high to low. HL stands for high to low. So, whenever the output is changing from high level to low level, then the difference between these two 50% point, 50% point of the input and 50% point of the output, this time difference is TPH, that is propagation delay or transition time uh, for high to low transition. On the contrary, another time period, another propagation time is TPLH. So, as the name indicates, it is the propagation delay when the output is transiting from low point to high, low level to high level. So, this is the output waveform when it transfers from low to high level. This is the 50% point. Corresponding 50% point of the input waveform is this point. So, time difference between these two is TPLH. That is propagation delay for low to high transition. <clears throat> so, these are the two points related to propagation delay correspondingly TPHL for high to low transi transition and TPLH for low to high transition. The propagation delay is average of these two values. So it is defined as TP is equals to TPL plus TPLH. This is TPHL plus TPLH divided by 2. Now there are two more terms which are shown in this diagram. One is rise time TR and another is fall time TF. The concept remains same what we have studied in earlier subjects. TR is the rise time. It is measured between 90% and 10% of the value. Same uh, uh, technique. TF is the fall time, which is again measured between 10% and 90%. So as shown in this diagram, this is the output waveform. This point corresponds to 90% of the value. This point corresponds to 10% of the value. So time delay between these two is called fall time TF. Same way, this is the 10% of the output waveform and 90% of the output waveform. The time delay related to these two positions between 10% and 90%. This is the rising time. So it is called the rise time denoted by TR. Now, <clears throat> This TR and TF, rise time and fall time are concerned related to 10% and 90% points in the output waveform. 
these are decided these rise time and fall times are decided by the strength of the driving gate and the load which is connected at the output so this is about the concept of rise and fall times next is the concept of power delay product basically this power delay product is used to decide the performance of the given uh, circuit as well as it gives an idea about the transition period from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so in simple language power delay product is the product multiplication of power dissipation in the circuit and propagation delay that is tp just now we discussed the concept of the propagation delay so pdp power delay product is p average that is average power dissipation into tp tp stands for propagation delay now we'll consider that the gate is switched at the maximum rate that means f max maximum frequency is equals to 1 by 2 tp this is according to the sampling theorem then pdp power delay product is given by cl capacitive effect capacitive load vdd square vdd is the supply voltage f max into tp <clears throat> now this f max is 1 by 2 tp so i have put the value of uh, f max 1 by 2 tp this tp and tp gets cancelled so you are getting one half cl vdd square it indicates that power delay product pdp is directly proportional to the supply voltage vdd this pdp gives an idea about the average energy consumed per switching event that means per transitions uh, that means per switching event means uh, if the transition is from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 then how much amount of average energy that is consumed that idea is obtained uh, from this term pdp and main use of the pdp is to determine the performance of the given circuit next part is latch up effect in case of uh, most devices there are many transistors that are existing so if you are talking about a CMOS uh, device then uh, it contains combination of both NMOS and PMOS as shown in this uh, diagram I have shown both the NMOS as well as PMOS devices so different connections are shown this is source terminal gate terminal drain terminal for the NMOS this is again drain gate and source for the PMOS transistor this is a well structure and P type of substrate is used <coughs> Actually, the latch-up effect is created, in this case, the latch-up effect is created due to the source of NMOS. This is the NMOS due to source of NMOS, then P substrate, N well, and then source of PMOS, because of which the latch-up effects uh, exist. Whenever, see, look at this connection. The output of this NMOS is applied at the uh, base terminal of the second transistor. So, whenever this start, uh, NMOS starts conducting, it gives a uh, large amount of current to the another transistor. It may happen that due to excess current, this transistor uh, may go into saturation or may burn out. So to avoid all such things, uh, there is a crucial role as far as this piece of threat and end well is con uh, concerned. <clears throat> it provides a position for such increase in the current it provides a resistance because of which such effects are avoided so this is about the latch of effects so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video